Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyOnMarketing.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a video ad in the Facebook or Meta Ads Manager. So let's go ahead and just get straight into it. So here I am in the Ads Manager, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Create button right here. And we can go ahead and select any campaign objective. So all campaign objectives support video ads, so that's a nice thing. In this example, I'll just go ahead and use a sales campaign objective and click on continue. And you can use Advantage Plus or Tailored campaigns or manual sales campaigns as well. All the options support video ads, but I'm gonna go ahead and switch to manual just because I prefer that. Click on continue. Of course, I have videos on the campaign objectives and the ad set settings and Advantage Plus campaigns. So if you need any more information on anything that I'm going quickly over, please check out my channel for those other videos. All right, so I'm gonna leave all this at the default settings and we'll go to the ad set now and I'm gonna go ahead and assign my pixel here just for the sake of example and I'll do an add to cart event and I think that's all I'm gonna set up here. And now I'm gonna go to the ad so that way I can create my ad. So first things first, you probably wanna go ahead and name your ad and then select the appropriate identity. So whatever Facebook page you're advertising from. And I also recommend connecting your Instagram account to your ad account so that way you can advertise directly through your Instagram account. And that lets you be able to reply to comments among some other benefits. But coming on down here, we get into the ad setup and we're gonna go ahead and create a brand new ad. And we're gonna go ahead and select manual upload here. And then you'll see the option for single image or video. And so that's what we're doing in this vi in this video is we're creating a video ad. And I'm gonna leave everything else the default settings and get into the ad creative. So right here, we're gonna go ahead and select add media and we wanna go ahead and select add video. And if you already have video content within your account or your business or you have a video URL, video content on your Facebook page, you could go ahead and select it right from here. But I don't have anything that I wanna use for my ad, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on upload right here. And then I can go ahead and navigate to my ad that I wanna go ahead and use. So Facebook had a slight glitch and it wound up uploading my video four times. So I'm just gonna select one right here and click on next. And I actually wanna go back one step to trim here. So when you upload your video, you can go ahead and trim it right here within Facebook. And the recommended video length is up to 15 seconds. Now my video is only 11.7 seconds, which is probably why it skipped over this trim step because I'm already under the 15 second limit. And so that's one thing to take into account is the length of your video ads should be really, really short. And that's because most people don't wanna watch a two or three minute ad. Now there's also this article over here and it'll give you all the different specifications for where you're showing your video ads and what they recommend. So for example, right here we're under Facebook feed and we can see that it supports between one second and 241 minutes now I don't think anyone's gonna be watching a 241 minute video but you could upload a video at that length and you could go ahead and switch between the different placements so like Facebook stories here we can see how long these will last and it recommends between one second to two minutes. So if you do wanna do a longer video, you can double check your placements right here and see if the different placements will actually support the video that you're trying to upload. And it also says the dimensions or resolution as well. So right here and the ratio as well. So these are things to keep in mind when you're recording your video. Like if you wanna make a video that's friendly for Facebook stories, you wanna make sure that you're within the correct ratio and resolution and all that other type of stuff. So I'll link to this page in the description down below. But in order to have your ad show in the most places, keep it 15 seconds or less. Now we're gonna go ahead and click on next. And now we can go ahead and crop our ad for the different placements. So right here we have stories and reels, ads on Facebook, reels, apps, and sites. And my video is actually at nine by 16 already, so. I'm already at the recommended size for this particular placement. And there's nothing to really adjust right here, but coming over, we have feeds, in-stream for videos, search results. So then we have original right here, and we can see that there's some spacing issues. Like my video is too skinny for this particular placement because it's recommending a square video. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this option and let's see what happens. So it zooms in kind of weird and cuts off half my face, which may not be a bad thing, but we can also go ahead and click on crop and trim here and then we can decide where we want to actually do the cropping of our video. So maybe I can crop it like right here and I could go ahead and play my video. Most small business owners don't know what this is. Well, it's a sale. And I can make sure that I'm not cropping out any super important content or something to that effect. And once I'm happy, I could go ahead and click on confirm. So now my video is a square video. However, parts of it are cropped out. So one thing you could go ahead and do is actually replace this video with a square video. So you could reshoot the video, you know, in a square format so that way 
it'll display properly without having a weird cropping where part of my head's cut out and half my book is cut off as well. The point is you might need to make several variations of your ad in different sizes. So that way it will display as best as possible in the different placements. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel here. And then we have our third placement right here. So right column and search results. And so an original, it would be really skinny over here because it recommends a 16 by nine ratio. However, I'm at a nine by 16 ratio. So I'm like the exact opposite of what it's recommending here. So this would be kind of weird looking over in the right hand side. And in fact, it's so skinny that my ad will not show up on certain placements or it may be automatically cropped. So to avoid this, I need to manually crop it or replace the video. So again, I'd want to make sure that I have a proper 16 by nine video format for this particular location, but we're going to go ahead and just crop it ourselves. So I'll do crop and trim. And yeah, this isn't going to look good no matter what. So if I wanted to run ads in this particular placement, I would definitely need to have a different video to use as this one would not work, but I'll click confirm anyway, and we'll address this issue in a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on next now. And now Facebook wants to know if we wanna optimize our ad with Advantage Plus Creative. So this is a newer feature that Facebook offers and basically they're going to do different things and adjustments to your ads in order to try and get more conversions or whatever objective you're trying to achieve. And so you can see some of the optimizations that it'll try. So it has the relevant comment. So we will display the most relevant comment below your ad on Facebook and Instagram. It might do visual touch-ups as well or text improvements. So any text you provide may appear as primary text headline or description. So it'll test things up and add items from your catalog. So if you have a catalog, it'll go ahead and add them to the bottom of your ad, which you may or may not want. But anyway, if you want Facebook to try and optimize your ads by testing little things, you can go ahead and turn this on. Or if you'd rather have full control, then you don't have to turn it on at all. You can just come up here and turn it off just like that. And same with visual touch-ups as well. You could go ahead and turn it off if you don't want it. Now, personally, if you're not like a very creative person, then I recommend turning them on and letting Facebook's algorithm do the heavy lifting and trying to figure out what works and what doesn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn all these on so that way Facebook has all the opportunity to improve my ads for me with the exception of this catalog one because I don't want people seeing my catalog in this particular ad. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on done now. And now I get this message about activating engage view attribution setting. And so what an engage view is, is it's basically saying that if I turn this on and somebody buys or does the action that I want them to take within one day of viewing this ad, then that sale or objective that I'm trying to achieve will be attributed to this particular ad. And hopefully that makes sense. If not, you can go ahead and read the article all about engaged views right here. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on because it can improve my results. So we'll turn that on. Alrighty, so now under the ad creative section, I should see my media with 21 placements or if you change your placements, you might see something else. Now, if you don't see something that looks like this, come back to your ad set level and come down to your placements option. So we have a placements and switch it from whatever it's on to the other one. So mine's currently on Advantage Plus. I'm gonna switch it to manual placements, come back to the ad, and then I should see this type of screen right here. And then I can come back and switch it back to my Advantage Plus placements and come back to my ad and then I should st still see all my placements right here. So if for some reason Facebook lags and you don't see something like that looks like that, that's how you can correct that issue. Now what I recommend doing is coming on down here and adding your text, headline, description, call to action button and so on. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So primary text and you can add multiple variations as well and Facebook will automatically split test the different options that you put into your primary text or your headline and so on. And I'll try and find an optimum combination in order to get you more results for less money. But for my example, I'm just gonna have one. And so headline goes here and scroll on down here. So we have call to action button. So I'm gonna go ahead and do learn more. And we can also add info labels and I have a video on info labels. So if you need more information on those, please check out my channel. But I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down. We'll go ahead and add a destination. So let me throw in my website and I can add a display link as well, but I'm just gonna leave it the default, which is my website right there. You could also add some other options like a call. So add a call button on your website or instant experience or Facebook event. And I have videos on these topics. So again, check out my channel if you want more information on like how to set up an instant experience. And we have languages. So you can automatically translate your ad if you wanna do something like that. And then we have tracking. So you wanna make sure that you're tracking your events correctly. So go ahead and activate that for whatever is relevant. And again, I have videos. And if you need more details on these various ad settings, link in the description down below, I have a video all about them. But we'll come back up here now to our creative area. So that way we can adjust what we have going on. 
So right here, I can see my three different like placement groups. So I have feeds, in-stream ads for videos and reels, search results, which has 12 placements. Then I have stories and reels, apps and sites, which has seven placements. I have right column and search results, which has two placements. Now I could go ahead and click on this pencil here and it would edit the whole group. So I'd be editing all 12 placements at once at once if I choose this option. However, I find that doing bulk edits doesn't usually work as well as you want it to. So I don't recommend doing a bulk edit. Instead, I would come out here, click this uh, drop down arrow, and then we can go placement by placement to make sure that our ad looks good. And I know that it's kind of painful, but you're trying to get your ad to perform. So it's worth spending these extra couple minutes going from each placement to make sure that it looks as good as possible. So we'll start with Facebook feed right here. I'll go ahead and click on the pencil and I can see right away that I'm editing one placement in particular my mobile feed. So this is what my, my ad will look like in the mobile feed. If I wanted to, I could go ahead and change the video out so that I have a completely different video for mobile feed ads. So if I need to change it, I could do that like that. I could go ahead and crop and trim my mobile feed video, but I'm not going to because it is the perfect size. I could also go ahead and select a thumbnail. Now Facebook will automatically generate a thumbnail based on a person's likelihood to respond. So I don't know how they do that, but that's what they say they do. Or you could manually select a thumbnail. So if this one or this one, you could do that. Or you could upload a thumbnail of your own. Moving on down, we have text. So we, if you wanna go ahead and change your text for this particular placement, you could go ahead and do that. Like if it's not looking good on a mobile feed, you could change it so that way it looks as good as possible on a mobile feed. Same concept with headline over here and destination as well. And all this stuff looks good in my opinion right now. And then we get into captions here and I recommend turning them on. So you can upload your own SRT file if you have that or go ahead and generate them automatically. And so Facebook will generate them and I could go ahead and play the video. Most small business owners don't know what this is. Well, it's a sales funnel and you can use it to automatically grow and your I can business. make sure that the closed captions make sense if they don't I could go ahead and edit them so you can just type whatever you want over here to change the captions to actually fit your video and you definitely want to have captions because most people watch Facebook and Instagram videos without sound so if you want them to understand what you're talking about then you'll want to add captions to your video so you just click save to video and just like that my captions are saved there's audio description, so this would be if you want to describe what is going on in the particular video. So if you have a visually impaired audience that you're advertising to, this could be useful. You can also add a poll to certain placements. So mobile feed does support a poll. And so you would see down at the bottom, which would you choose? Choose one, choice two, choice one, or choice two. And then you could add a link to each choice that they make. So you could take them to a different landing page or something like that. There's also text overlay. So if you want to add text to your video, like you could go ahead and put it wherever you want it. And you could go ahead and write something that you want displayed. You could change the font of it as well and the size of it and the color of it and move it to where it fits. Now, you probably don't wanna be doing this if you already have captions on your videos because that would be a lot of text to try and read is up here and then the captions down there. But if your video is just like an audio video or something like that or music and you need to add a couple words here or there, then this could be a good way to do it. But I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of here. So I'll hit cancel and discard and continue. And then logo overlay is pretty self-explanatory. If we could go ahead and add our logo if we want to. And we can move it wherever we want on our video and then how you want it to display. So this would start it right away. And then if I dragged it all the way out, my logo would display right here the entire length of the video. Or you could change, you know, when you want your logo to display or not. And if you're happy with it, you could go ahead and click on apply. I can see that my poll is still up here and I actually want to remove it. So I'm going to hover over poll. I can click the trash can and now the poll is gone and I can see my headline and description now. And so that's how I could go ahead and change my ad around for mobile feed. Now I could switch it to desktop feed as well and see what it'll look like. And so now I have black borders on the left and right side and I don't like that. So in this case, I might come to crop and trim and change my aspect ratio and make it so I'm getting more of my face but less of my book. Go ahead and apply changes. Or what I could do, if I had another square version of my video, I could go ahead and change that video for the desktop newsfeed placement. Alrighty, so we edited the feed placements. Now we would come back in here and go to the Facebook in-stream for videos, click on it, 
and we would do the same thing. We would make sure you know it looks good in the different placements and make sure that the content looks good and everything else. Alrighty, so that takes care of essentially two placements, our newsfeed on desktop and mobile. Then we would move on to the next one. So Facebook in-stream for videos. Click on edit here and then make sure that it looks good. Make sure that you know your headline looks good, your primary text looks good. If you need to change it, you can come over here and change it and then hit the drop down, go to the next one, make sure this looks good as well. And I can see that I'm already cropped off part of my head, so I might need to go ahead and adjust my crop and trim or change out the video for this particular placement. So yeah, this does take a while to do, but if you're gonna do it, you might as well do it well, in my opinion. And so once you're happy, and finally, if there are placements that you're not going to change or they're not going to show well, like for example, the right column placements are not gonna look good because I'm not gonna shoot a horizontal video I could come back to my ad set and we can go ahead and turn off that placement. So I'll switch to manual placements right here. And I could come into feeds right here and turn off the Facebook right column option. And also the search results options. I'll turn off Facebook search results as it doesn't look good there either. And now when I come back over here to my ad and I scroll on down, I see that those two placements have been removed. And so I won't be showing like ugly ads in those two placements. And so that's how you can go ahead and create video ads. Yes, it can be kind of painful to make sure that the placements all look great, but it's definitely worth spending the time to do it because if you have sketchy looking ads or ads that don't look good, like they're just not gonna perform well and you're just throwing money down the drain. So take the time to go through all the different placements, make sure they look good. And that is it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate it. So it's likes, comments, subscribes, and or check out crazyarmarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.